Your Majesty, Excellencies, today we are focused on saving our citizens and economies from the effects of the global pandemic. Equally important is to keep our focus on fighting climate change. Climate change must be fought not in silos, but in an integrated, comprehensive and holistic way. Inspired by our traditional ethos of living in harmony with the environment and the commitment of my government, India has adopted low carbon and climate resilient development practices. I am glad to share that India is not only meeting our Paris Agreement targets, but also exceeding them. India has taken concrete action in many areas. We have made LED light popular. This saves 38 million tons of carbon dioxide emission per year. Smoke-free kitchens have been provided to over 80 million households through our Ujwala scheme. This is among the largest clean energy drives globally. There are efforts to eliminate single-use plastics. Our forest cover is expanding. The lion and tiger population is increasing. We aim to restore 26 million hectares of degraded land by 2030. And we are encouraging a circular economy. India is making next generation infrastructure such as metro networks, waterways, and more. In addition to convenience and efficiency, they will also contribute to a cleaner environment. We will meet our goal of 175 gigawatt of renewable energy well before the target of 2022. Now, we are taking a big step ahead by seeking to achieve 450 gigawatts by 2030. Your Majesty, Excellencies, the International Solar Alliance is among the fastest growing international organization with 88 signatories. With plan to mobilize billions of dollars train thousands of stakeholders and promote research and development in renewable energy, the ISA will contribute to reducing carbon footprint. One more example is the Coalition for Disaster Residence Infrastructure. Eighteen countries, including nine from among the G20 and four international organizations, have already joined the coalition. CDRI has started work on increasing resilience of critical infrastructure. Infra damage during natural disaster is a subject that has not got the attention it deserves. The poorer nations are specially impacted by this. Therefore, this coalition is important. Your Majesty, Excellencies, this is the best time for further increasing research and innovation in new and sustainable technologies. We should do so with a spirit of cooperation and collaboration. The entire world can progress faster if there is a greater support of technology 
and finance to the developing world. Your Majesty, Excellencies, for humanity to prosper, every single individual must prosper. Rather than seeing labor as a factor of production alone, the focus must be on the human dignity of every worker. Such an approach would be the best guarantee for safeguarding our planet. Thank you. Thank you very much.